There we go. Okay, do we need anything else? We just need the lemons, I believe. Where'd my trout go? Oh my god, are you serious? Can I please? Come here, trout. Come here. It's okay, buddy. Come on, just get over here. Oh, thank god. Okay. Oh, god damn it. Oh, I swear to god. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Dre here, and welcome back to the world's worst kitchen because I am the chef. We're playing some more Cooking Simulator, and that's because this game is now fully released. Well, it's not released yet for you guys, uh, but the game is going to be released on June 6th, and we are playing the fully released version. So, I really wanted to play this game because, honestly, it's one of the best simulation games that I've seen in a long time when it comes to, like, detail. And, uh, yeah, I really like this because I don't know too much about cooking. Uh, so we're probably going to have the world's worst restaurant, but at least I'm learning a little bit on how to actually cook. So, yeah, right now we're on day one. We're going to restart in our kitchen here, and uh, it's a little bit different now. We got more complex stuff going on. Actually, did we, um, oh, because I didn't do the tutorial, I don't get my perks? Okay, so, oh, it looks like we do, we do not have the skill points either. So yes, to my knowledge, this is all new. You have skills and perks now that you get while you level up, basically. You also have your recipe manager where you can go and buy new recipes. We saw this before. I don't think it had as many as it does now. There's a lot more going on with this game. Uh, but yeah, being that I didn't do the tutorial, I guess I don't get the perks. I really do want those perks, so we're gonna quickly do the tutorial so we get those things. Okay, and there we go. Because I did the tutorial, we got our first level, and now we can actually choose a perk. Now, I'm still going through the tutorial, so she's going to try and tell me what to do. I really like this system, though, so you really gotta think about what you want, because these things are extremely useful. Hell, we can even get better tips, which is pretty interesting. Faster repairs, I mean, pretty much everything you can think of from a cooking standpoint is in here. I think we should go for the top right now and get an income boost on each dish. Now, we can upgrade this three times. First is 10, 30, and then 50, so they are quite aggressive. We're gonna level up that once. Now, to level this up again, it's going to cost two skill points. I think we should maybe work on... I saw that uh, tipping one. Uh, that should be a good idea. Better tips. Just to focus on getting as much money as possible at the start. And what else could help with us? Um, extended dish timers. Yes. Actually, I think I definitely want that. We'll do 10% more. And I think that's a good first three skills. All right, so we're going to start our first day, or technically our second day, because the tutorial was the first day. So yeah, if you totally skip that tutorial, you don't get your upgrades. Now, I'm assuming if you did well that day, you'd still get the same amount of XP, but I did want to uh, get this before we actually started. All right, so we got everything set up now. I set it up my way, uh, so I had to actually manually buy all the stuff. I have my cooking oil over here, because we're going to use that here. Spatulas in place. Cooking board. I actually... Ooh, we still have that old lemon that I was using. Let's just throw that out. There we go. We want fresh ingredients, because I want to get paid well. All right, they want me to use the, last, the laptop for some reason. Um, open the skill manager. Okay, I've already done all this, so I think she just wants me to do it in case I didn't. Yes. Okay. And Gordon Ramsay's gonna help me today. I need all the help I can get. All right, salmon steak with boiled potatoes. So we're going to do that first. So obviously find a big pot. Yeah, boiling's going to be key right now. So we've got two big pots, and we are going to hopefully boil this water pretty quickly. How do I do this? Um, oh, God. Okay, so I just put that there. Pour whatever I want in. Now, it wants about a liter, so we're going to do a liter here of hot water. I don't know if we need hot or cold. Who cares? It's going to boil anyways, and we'll throw it on the stove. There we go. Is that the right one? That is the wrong one. Oh, I always get these damn things wrong. All right, we got to cook some taters, so throw some taters in the pot. There we go. There's one. There's two. And back on the fire we go. Uh, cook for 120 seconds. I guess I should put that on here. Uh, so we're going to set up timer. Still getting used to all this. Oops. Okay, and then we want to do that. That's actually pretty easy to do. All right. Salmon time! The good stuff! So let's get that salmon out of the fridge, and what, are we gonna cut this? I'm assuming we're just seasoning it. Yeah, salt and pepper. Alright, so we need 10 mils of oil in the right pan this time. Um, what am I doing here? Okay, oh, there we go, so you have to hold it. Oh, Jesus, okay, 15. Good enough. Just had, add some extra oil to it. Oh, ta taters are done. Okay, that's fine. Let's just get this set up first. Um, actually, potatoes are definitely not done, so that wasn't accurate. Um, we're just gonna turn that off then. We'll just keep an eye on it. Obviously, it's almost done. Damn it, I did the wrong freaking thing again. 
This is what happens when you have a greenhorn doing your uh, food. All right, what else do we need? Fry salmon. So this is all we're doing right now. We're totally good. All right, close that up. I'm feeling pretty good about this. I think we're going to have a good first meal at least. This is probably the only meal that's going to be good. Uh, what else do we need to do just to see? It looks like that's pretty much it. Do we have to season? Um, I, I don't think so. This is a very basic meal. I, I would hate this meal. What the hell do we do with this uh, potato juice? Do we just kind of throw it in here? Um, how do I, how do I get rid of it? I just, I don't, I don't want the water anymore. I gotta figure that out later. Clearly, we don't have time right now, because I think this thing's almost done. Okay, pick up the plate with the salmon steak. Thanks, Gordon. There we go, and put the plate in the serving sauce. So, really, this isn't seasoned at all. This is the ugliest looking food, but hey, this is what they wanted, so please tell me we did it right. There we go, serving it, and... Hey, taste isn't the best. I mean, it did fall on the floor after all, so I'll, I'll take that. Overall score is four stars. Better than what I thought, and we even got a $7 tip. So there we go. 47 bucks for that meal. I would be pissed off if I had to pay 47 bucks for that. What are the complaints here? Oh, too much salt. Yes, we definitely did that. Okay, so I didn't realize I had to hover over that. This is actually really informative, which is nice. So it looks like the only thing we really screwed up was the salt. I guess being on the floor just added a little bit more flavor. They didn't seem to be too bothered by that. All right, no time for slacking off. Next order is here. Tomato soup. Okay. Oh, can we get it perfect? Ha! 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 Okay, I think we got 697. Oh, God damn it. Come on. There we go. Good, 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 good enough for me. I still, I still don't have 700 in here. What do you want from me, Gordon? Come on, man. There. You happy? Okay, it's a little bit more. He clearly wanted exactly 700 or higher. Okay, and there we go. Add eight tomatoes to the big pot. Okay, tomatoes. There they are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This actually looks kind of delicious. And one onion. Perfect. Okay, the onions are back there. They're hidden. I'm gonna have to remember that. And place the pot on the cooker. Now, which one was it again? I have no idea. We'll just have to try one and probably get it wrong. Once again. Actually, we did get it right that time, so that's good. All right, so now we wait. Turn off the heat and blend the contents of the pot. Oh, okay, blend everything together. I've never blended before. So we have options. Okay, we're gonna put this over here. I'm thinking it's this one. We could put it in the blender too, technically, probably, but obviously this is, would may make more sense. So, okay, move down. Oh, <laughs> this is great. Okay, and some sour cream. All right, we're just gonna pour that in and, oh, 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 easy now, easy now, easy now. Easy now, tiger. There we go. Serve the dish. So what, what the hell do I do with the rest of this soup? That's a lot of soup, man. All right, well, let's see. Hopefully my tomato soup is delish. I honestly don't know about this one. And look at that. Even better than the last one. Four and a half stars. Thank you, Gordon. I couldn't have done that without you. Uh, guest complaints this time. Cayenne pepper was too much. Uh, wrong amount of tomato soup. Okay, so I guess I put the wrong amount in, but the temperature was perfect. All right, so I'm not sure how much you're supposed to pour. I mean, it looked like it was pretty full. Okay, baked trout time. No time for relaxation here. So what do we need this time? Uh, serve the dish. Okay, so he's not going to tell me anything this time. All right, I'm down, ma'am. Trout, 200 Gs. Bake for 90 seconds on a baking tray. Okay, so turn this into this. And, oh, look at that delicious trout. We're going to throw that bad boy in there. Not sure if the rack matters, because I know, you know, at least in an ordinary oven... You put it on the bottom rack, it heats it quicker. What the heck? Come. Why, why am I having such an issue here? Come on! There we go. <laughs> just, you just have to yell at it. That, that's all. And then garnish with parsley leaves. Uh, fresh 6G. So actually, I'm well ahead of time right now. We're still cooking the trout. I can focus on cleaning up now. Now, how do I get rid of uh, glass? So I guess we're just going to have glass in our feet for, for forever. Because, yeah, we don't seem to have a dustpan. Actually, can we buy one? Just out of curiosity. Utensils. Um, maybe it's not in utensils. This is all the stuff. So all we have is products, and that's just actual products. Oh, well, it's just me that's going to have to deal with that. Oh, crap. It's already done. Uh-oh, I hope I... What? That that has never happened before. You're, you're supposed to come off with that. Okay, hopefully... Uh, what the frig is going on? Oh, it's heat. Okay, it's it's hot. All right, let me, um... Let me grab a dish. I'm assuming it's just a basic one. Uh, hopefully it isn't too dirty in there, because we're going to have to grab that. That looks like a gross trout. Uh, what else do we need? The lemon quarters, so we'll grab those now. One, two, three, four. And then it was just parsley leaves, six Gs. So we have parsley here and two Gs each, so three of these is enough. And look at that. 
That's a ugly looking salmon, man, or trout. It might have been a little overcooked. Hey, not bad. W without help, I feel pretty good about that. And we actually, it looks like we did upgrade our level as well. Again, I want to see the complaints this time. Horseradish. Oh, cr I forgot the horseradish. Okay, considering they were happy with that, that's surprising. And bad cutting technique, wrong amount of product. I did four. Whatever. I, I don't care. I, I, I got a decent rating. That's the important part. I forgot the horseradish, so that's embarrassing. Tomorrow we're getting inspected as well. Come on, give me a break, man. I'm, I'm just learning the place, and we're already dealing with inspections. Just fantastic. All right, so did we get a new skill? Uh, oh, yeah, we do have new skill points. Okay, so this is going to be quicker than I thought. Actually, experience boost would definitely make sense early on so we can uh, get more upgrades quickly. So we're definitely going to do that. Uh, I also want more fame because that's going to help us out with these uh, reviewers that are coming. And what else? Cheaper recipes? Maybe that actually might be a good idea. Uh, I don't think we're going to have many repairs. Uh, increased by 10% taste tolerance, so that's really good. We also get to unlock a new recipe, so decisions. Pork chop with baked potatoes or simple Ukrainian borscht. I don't know what that is, but uh, I'm going to go with the pork chops. We don't have any pork on the menu yet, and I think people are going to love that. Okay, so do we need anything new for this? We obviously need pork chops. Uh, that's probably it. All right, so let's unlock that. Okay, prep phase. Here we go. So uh, it's a little messy here. We should... How do we clean up? Oh, sponges. Sponges would make sense. Okay, can we um, just kind of clean this up a little bit? Clean. Yes, there we go. Clean this bad boy up. I mean, it's kind of working on some of the grime. This is, wow. Okay, I, I, I left the fire on all, all night. I'm lucky this place didn't burn down. Let's just prep for today's cooking, and uh, we'll have to deal with cleaning later. I think we can hire cleaning ladies as well. I'll probably just end up doing that, because uh, clearly cleaning is too complex for me. All right, put this back in the baking tray. Now we are going to need pork. Do we already have pork in here? Uh, yes, we do. So it's just grab it and then you pay for it. Perfect. Okay, we're open. Expect orders to come in soon. Got it. Oh, damn it. Okay, I already got an order in. Once again, the salmon steak and boiled potatoes. Okay, so we got dish here. Where's my other pot? Probably will worry about that. And then take this delicious piece of meat. Throw it in my ugly stove, and this is definitely boiled, so we can go grab some water. Not sure how I'm holding this, but hey, it's fine. I think it was two potatoes, if I do remember correctly, so we'll start boiling those. There we go. Salmon's cooking real good. Uh, what else do we need? We don't season with anything. That's right. So this is so basic. I don't know why anyone would order this. But hey, if you, if you don't like seasoning, this is your type of meal, I guess. Salmon's almost done. We have to flip it. This time, hopefully, we don't get it on the floor. I don't think the reviewer will like that. Yeah, there we go. Is it in there? Okay, it's definitely in there. It's not the perfect placement, but hey, it's still cooking. Okay, what are we working with? Look at this. Look at this perfect timing here. I planned this out right. Thanks, Gordon, for w letting me know I should boil the potatoes first because they do take a long time to do. And there we go. Potatoes are done. Throw them on there. Just grab that. How are you? Oh, damn it. Okay. Nobody saw that. We're all good. Oh, there we go. And I think the salmon. Oh, almost burnt. That's okay. Please be a four star. I really need this to be a four star. Salmon and baked potatoes. Coming out early. It's still hot. Hey, not bad. Taste isn't the best. I mean, it was on the floor, let's be honest. Overall score is the four stars that we needed. Okay, so what was your issues, though? I'm always curious. Too much salt again. Clearly, I'm very good at do doing that. Heating mistakes on the salmon. I did burn it slightly, but hey, I honestly, that was actually... Pretty good. And the temperature, obviously, we pretty much served it right away, was perfect. So, we got the temp going. It's just, it's, I'm over-seasoning things, man. That's the order. You cannot shame us in front of the food critic. Oh, God, it's the one I've never done. Why would the food critic do this to me? Let's grab a pork chop. And I have no idea what I'm doing. All right, and the pork chop. Actually, pork chops? Wait, 200 Gs? How much is this? Okay, it's 200 Gs. Thank God. I, I was wondering if I had to do two. Why would you put an S on the end? All right, 90 seconds on each side. Cut potatoes into chunks, season with salt. Oh, crap, potatoes. That's right. I forgot about the potatoes. How many do I need? Um, 300 Gs. Okay, so I'm assuming that's three into 50 G chunks. So it looks like three on each, probably. So we're just going to go like that, and I think that's 350 Gs each. I hope it is. Transfer into baking tray, bake for 80 seconds. Okay, so baking tray, still the oven's still on. I'm clearly dumb. That's fine. Actually, this is probably going to burn by the time I grab this, so let's make sure we're doing this right. We'll wait on the potatoes. How much time do we got? Seven minutes? Oh, we got so much time. We're good. I'm way ahead of time right now. I'm, try I'm trying to lay these out right. You know what? It's good enough. 
It's just not like I'm getting reviewed on this or anything. There we go. And I don't know how long we're supposed to cook those for, but the green bar should tell me. All right, how, how you doing, man? Oh, wow, that's actually more done than I expected. Uh, anything else? Transfer on the plate, serve hot. Okay, so let's get that plate going. Should we get a fancy plate? No, let's just get the basic. I, I, I don't want to get dinged for having the wrong plate. I don't know if there's a rule with that. I have no idea. All right, hopefully I can clean this place by the end of the day. I mean, look at this. I've done four meals. How, how is my stove this gross? This is awful. I'm thinking we're going to get a pretty good review here, though, so I think this restaurant might get a little bit more popular. Uh, I'm actually amazed. I haven't screwed up anything yet. This is rare. Baked potatoes, we don't need anything else, so just salt and potato. This is, once again, a meal I wouldn't really order, but hey, this, this isn't me eating. This is me cooking. Wouldn't, wouldn't that be great? An eating simulator where you just go to different restaurants and eat. Uh, they should definitely make that. All right, there we go, though. And again, no seasoning or anything. We didn't drop anything on the floor. Look at that. This is beautiful. L look at that presentation. Isn't it perfect? That is so ugly. Oh, my God. Please, please, dude. At least I served it quick. I served it hot. We got it. We got the score of four that we needed. Damn it. He, he's pleased, but my fame actually dropped. Why would it drop? I had a four-star overall score. Whatever, man. I mean, it's all... The salt... What am I doing wrong with the salt? I swear it said six Gs. I mean, I think I did that right. Heating mistakes on the pork chops? There's no way I did that perfectly. Once again, temp is perfect, but clearly my technique and flavors needs a little bit of improvement. Oh, I got an award. I got a freaking award! Okay, where, where, where am I going to put these? Um... Oh, yeah, that's right. We, we have new uh, other things to do. Okay, so we'll deal with this later. We can get a new uh, recipe, but let's finish up this day real quick. Bake trail. We've done, done this before. Should be pretty easy. Oh, my God. I did it again. I did it again. This is so frustrating. I can't grab that, but I can grab this steaming hot piece of metal. Makes no sense. There we go. Okay, do we need anything else? We just need the lemons, I believe. Well, that's not good. <laughs> Where'd my trout go? Oh, my God. Are you serious? Can I please... Come here, Trout. Come here. It's okay, buddy. Come on. Just get over here. Oh, thank God. Okay. Oh, God damn it. Oh, I swear to God. I swear this thing's still alive. It, like, flopped off that plate. Okay, I don't even care anymore. We're just going to get this one out because I only have so much time. God damn it. Get it? Time? Wait, wait, where? Time. Yes. <laughs> oh, my God. Here we go again. Maybe people like the taste of floor in this restaurant because clearly pretty much I think everything we've served is on the floor. Seriously, that's my best one yet. Okay, well, clearly we just gotta throw it on the floor, and that is our secret ingredient. You know, the dust of uh, my shoes and uh, I guess all the liquids that we pour on the floor as well. It, it, it works great, honestly. Okay, oh yeah, that's right. I've been boiling water for like an hour, so we should probably throw some taters in there. Uh, let's get that done, and hopefully we have time to do this, because I did go a little slow on that trout. Okay, this place is a friggin' mess. I don't know how I'm gonna keep up with this. I mean, I guess we have a little bit of time right now. Let's, uh, huh, time, get it? <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll shut up about that. And we know we've screwed up the uh, the heating of this before, so let's get this done right. It just churned, I swear to God. And bam, look at that! I'm getting better. I can actually flip it without it falling on the floor now. And got to be careful. Let's get the potatoes out of here. They're nice and warm. They don't look overcooked, so that's good. Now we just wait on the salmon. And I think we're in time, too. Ah, uh, 59 seconds left. We're, we're, we're getting close. They're getting a little frustrated out there. But hey, it's hard to make perfection, man. Give me a second. Okay, 24 seconds. I think we are officially good. We are going to make sure this is the perfect filet. So they're not too mad. I mean, they had to wait, but they had to wait for perfection. Let's see. Everything's good. Okay, before before they do go, let's get it done and serve it. Eight seconds left. That was a little close, man. When you start stacking on recipes, my brain just goes into mush. But hey, I got more fame. Guess paid. Uh, they did get an $8 tip as well, so they really weren't that mad. Let's see what the complaints were this time. Too much salt? Too much freaking salt in the potatoes again! But hey, we still got a decent rating, and we're no longer taking orders. Finish what you started and get ready for tomorrow. <sighs> and there we are on day four. But we're gonna wrap up this one here, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Cooking Simulator, playing the full game this time. Uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think of this. Obviously, I enjoy it. It's a great simulation game. Very complex and very beautiful as well. Uh, and now that it's fully released, we can continue upgrading this place. I think there, you can actually... I don't know if you can buy new places. I know you could actually change the decorations of your place, though. So you can really work on trying to be the best chef that you can be. And yeah, if you guys like this, 
We'll definitely do some more of it because, yeah, it's really, really fun. As always, guys, thanks for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one. Well, that's not good.